Welcome everybody, this is Alan with Daily Armor of God. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're all doing well. This is reading the Old Testament in 88 days. And we're on day 58, and we are still in the book of Psalms. We'll be reading chapters 55 through 70 today. So let's go ahead and get started in Psalms 55. Verse 1. The chief musician on Neganoth, Meshil, a psalm of David. Give ear to my prayer, O Elohim, and hide not thyself from my supplication. Attend unto me and hear me. I mourn in my complaint and make noise. Because of the voice of the enemy, because of the oppression of the wicked. For they cast iniquity upon me, and in wrath they hate me. My heart is sore pained within me, and the terrors of death are fallen upon me. Fearfulness and trembling are come upon me, and horror hath overwhelmed me. And I said, O oh, that I had wings like a dove, for then I would fly away and be at rest. Lo, then I would wander far off and remain in the wilderness, Selah. I would hasten my escape from the windy storm and tempest. Destroy, O oh Lord, and divide their tongues, for I have seen violence and strife in the city. Day and night go about it upon the walls thereof, mischief also and sorrow are in the midst of it. Wickedness is in the midst thereof, deceit and guile depart not from her streets. For it was not an enemy that reproached me, then I could have borne it. Neither was it he that hated me, that did magnify himself against me, then I would have hid myself from him. But it was thou, a man, mine equal, my guide, and mine acquaintance. We took sweet counsel together and walked into the house of Elohim in company. Let death seize upon them, and let them go down quick into hell, for wickedness is in their dwellings and among them. As for me, I will call upon Elohim, and Yahweh shall save me. Evening and morning and at noon I will pray, and cry aloud, and he shall hear my voice. He hath delivered my soul in peace from the battle that was against me, for there were many with me. Elohim shall hear and afflict them, even he that abideth of old. Selah. Because they have no changes, therefore they fear not Elohim. He hath put forth his hands against such as be of peace with him. He hath broken his covenant. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, and but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn swords. Cast thy burden upon me, O Yahweh, and he shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. But thou, O Elohim, shalt bring them down into the pit of destruction. Bloody and deceitful men shall not live out half their days, but I will trust in thee. Psalm 56 To the chief musician upon Jothel Lamerakim, the Cham of David, when the Philistines took him in Gath, be merciful unto me, O Elohim. For man would swallow me up, he fighting daily oppresseth me. Mine enemies would daily swallow me up, for they be many that fight against me, O thou most high. What time I am afraid, I will trust in thee. In God I will praise his word. In Elohim I have put my trust, I will not fear what flesh can do unto me. Every day they rest my words, all their thoughts are against me for evil. They gather themselves together, they hide themselves, they mark my steps when they wait for my soul. Shall they escape by iniquity, and thine anger cast down the people, O Elohim? Thou tellest my wanderings, put thou my tears into thy bottle. Are they not in thy book? When I cry unto thee, then shall mine enemies turn back. This I know, for Elohim is for me. In Elohim will I praise his word, and in Yahweh will I praise his word. In Elohim have I put my trust, I will not be afraid what man can do unto me. Thy vows are upon me, O Elohim, I will render praises unto thee. For thou hast delivered my soul from death, wilt not thou deliver my feet from falling, that I may walk before Elohim in the light of the living? The great verse, I've always liked this verse. What can man do to us as Christians? Yeah, maybe they could torture us or kill us, but they can't touch our souls. Nobody, not even Satan can. Only God. Amen to that. Psalm 57. To the chief musician, Atashith, Micham of David, when he fled from Saul in the cave. Be merciful unto me, O Elohim, be merciful unto me, for my soul trusteth in thee. Yea, in the shadow of thy wings will I make my refuge until these calamities be overpassed. I will cry unto Elohim most high, unto Elohim that performeth all things for me. 
shall send from heaven and save me from the reproach of him that would swallow me up. Selah. Elohim shall send forth his mercy and his truth. My soul is among lions, and I lie even among them that are set on fire, even the sons of men whose teeth are spears and arrows, and their tongue a sharp sword. Be thou exalted, O Elohim, above the heavens, let thy glory be above all the earth. They have prepared a net for my steps, my soul is bowed down, they have digged a pit before me, into the midst whereof they are fallen themselves. Selah. My heart is fixed, O Elohim, my heart is fixed, I will sing and give praise. Awake up, my glory, awake, psaltery and harp, I myself will awake early. I will praise thee, O Lord, among the people, I will sing unto thee among the nations. For thy mercy is great unto the heavens, and thy truth unto the clouds. Be thou exalted, O Elohim, above the heavens, let thy glory be above all the earth. Psalm 58 To the chief musician, Altashith Micham of David. Do ye indeed speak righteousness, O congregation? Do ye judge uprightly, O ye sons of men? Yea, in heart ye work wickedness. Ye weigh in the violence of your hands in the earth. The wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. Their poison is like the poison of a serpent. They are like the deaf adder that stoppeth her ear, which will not hearken unto the voice of charmers, charming never so wisely. Break their teeth, O Elohim, in their mouth. Break out the great teeth of the young lions, O Yahweh. Let them melt away as waters which run continually. When he bendeth his bow to shoot his arrows, let them be as cut in pieces. As a snail which melteth, let every one of them pass away, like the untimely birth of a woman, that they may not see the sun. Before your pots can feel the thorns, he shall take them away, as with a whirlwind, both living and in his wrath. In righteous the righteousness the righteous shall rejoice when he seeth the vengeance. He shall wash his feet in the blood of the wicked, so that a man shall say, Verily there is reward for the righteous, verily he is an Elohim that judgeth in the earth. Psalm fifty nine To the chief musician Atashith Micham of David, when Saul sent and they watched the house to kill him. Deliver me from mine enemies, O my Elohim, defend me from them that rise up against me. Deliver me from the workers of iniquity, and save me from bloody men. For lo, they lie in wait for my soul, the mighty are gathered against me, not for my transgression, nor for my sin, O Yahweh. They run and prepare themselves without my fault, awake to help me, and behold. Thou therefore, O Yahweh, Elohim of hosts, the Elohim of Israel, Awake to visit all the heathen, be not merciful to any wicked transgressors, say thou. They re return at evening, they make a noise like a dog, and go round about the city. Behold, they belch out with their mouth, swords are in their lips, for who, say they, doth hear? But thou, O Yahweh, shalt laugh at them, thou shalt have all the heathen in derision. Because of his strength will I wait upon thee, for Elohim is my defense. The Elohim of my mercy shall prevent me, Elohim shall let me see the desire upon mine enemies. Slay them not, lest the people forget, scatter them by thy power, and bring them down, O Lord, our shield. For the sin of their mouth and the words of their lips, let them even be taken in their pride, and for cursing and lying which they speak. Consume them in wrath, consume them, that they may not be, and let them know that Elohim ruleth in Jacob unto the ends of the earth, Selah. And at evening let them return, and let them make noise like a dog, and go round about the city. Let them wander up and down for meat, and grudge if they be not satisfied. But I will sing of thy power, yea, I will sing aloud of thy mercy in the morning, for thou hast been my defense and my refuge in the day of my trouble. Unto thee, O my strength, will I sing, for Elohim is my defense, and the Elohim of my mercy. Psalm 60 To the chief musician upon Shoshanuduth, Micham of David, to teach when he strove with Aram Naharim, with Aram Zobah, when Job returned and smote of Edom in the valley of the salt twelve thousand. O Elohim, thou hast cast us off, and hast thou hast scattered us, thou hast been displeased. O turn thyself to us again, thou hast made the earth to tremble, thou hast broken it. Heal the breaches thereof, for it shaketh. 
that has showed thy people hard things, that has made us to drink the wine of astonishment, that has given a banner to them that fear thee, that it may be displayed because of the truth, Selah, that thy beloved may be delivered, saved with thy right hand, and hear me. Elohim hath spoken in his holiness, I will rejoice, I will divide Shechem, and met out the valley of Sukkoth. Galid is mine, and Manasseh is mine, Ephraim also is the strength of mine head. Judah is my lawgiver, Moab is my washpot, over Edom will I cast out my shoe. Philistia, triumph thou because of me. Who will bring me into the strong city? Who will lead me into Edom? Wilt not thou, O Elohim, which had cast us off? And thou, O Elohim, which did not go out with our enemies? Give us help from trouble, for vain is the help of men. Through Elohim we shall do valiantly, for he it is that shall tread down our enemies. Psalm 61. To the chief musician upon Negana, a psalm of David. Hear my cry, O Elohim, attend unto my prayer. From the end of the earth will I cry unto thee, when my heart is overwhelmed. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I. For thou hast been a shelter for me, and a strong tower from the enemy. I will abide in thy tabernacle forever. I will trust in the covert of thy wings. Selah. For thou, O Elohim, has heard my vows, thou hast given me the heritage of those that fear thy name. Thou wilt prolong the king's life and his years as many generations. He shall abide before Elohim forever. O prepare mercy and truth which may preserve him. So will I sing praise unto thy name forever, that I may daily perform my vows. Psalm 62 To the chief musician, to Jedathon, a psalm of David. Truly my soul waiteth upon Elohim, from him cometh my salvation. He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be greatly moved. Amen. Oh, Talk about good verses right there. I love those verses. How long will ye imagine mischief against a man? Ye shall be slain, all of you, as a bowing wall. Ye shall be as a tottering fence. They only consult to cast him down from his excellency. They delight in lies. They bless with their mouth, but they curse inwardly. Selah. My soul, wait thou only upon Elohim, for my expectation is from him. He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be moved. And Elohim is my salvation and my glory, the rock of my strength, and my refuge is in Elohim. Man, so many good ones in this chapter. Trust in him at all times, ye people. Pour out your heart before him. Elohim is a refuge for us. Another good one. Another good one. Surely men of low degree are vanity, and men of high degree are a lie. To be laid in the balance, they are altogether lighter than vanity. Trust not in oppression, and become not vain in robbery. If riches increase, set not your heart upon them. Elohim hath spoken once, twice have I heard this, that power belongeth unto Elohim. Also unto thee, O Lord, belongeth mercy, for thou renderest to every man according to his work. And Psalm 62 has some really good ones in there. Really good. Psalm 63, a psalm of David when he was in the wilderness of Judah. O Elohim, thou art my Elohim. Early will I seek thee, my soul thirsteth for thee. My flesh longeth for thee in a dry and thirsty land where no water is. To see thy power and thy glory, so as I have seen thee in the sanctuary. Because thy loving kindness is better than life, my lips shall praise thee. Thus will I bless thee while I live, I will lift up my hands in thy name. My soul shall be satisfied as with marrow and fatness, and my mouth shall praise thee with joyful lips. When I remember thee upon my bed, and meditate on thee in the night watches, because thou hast been my help, therefore in the shadow of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul followeth hard after thee, thy right hand upholdeth me, but those that seek my soul to destroy it shall go into the lower parts of the earth. They shall fall by the sword, they shall be a portion for foxes. But the king shall rejoice in Elohim, every one that sweareth by him shall glory. But the mouth of them that speak lies shall be stopped. Psalm 64 To the chief musician, a psalm of David. Hear my voice, O Elohim, in my prayer. Preserve my life from fear of the enemy. Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked, from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity who wet their tongue like a sword, and bend their bows to shoot their arrows, even bitter words, that they may shoot in secret at the perfect, suddenly to do 
do they shoot at him and fear not. They encourage themselves in an evil matter. They commune of laying snares privily. They say, who shall see them? They search out iniquities. They accomplish a diligent search, both the inward thought of every one of them, and the heart is deep. But Elohim shall shoot at them with an arrow. Suddenly they shall be wounded, so they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away, and all men shall fear and shall declare the work of Elohim, for they shall wisely consider of his doing. The righteous shall be glad in Yahweh, and shall trust in him, and all the upright in heart shall glory. Psalm 65 The chief musician, a psalm and song of David. Praise waiteth for thee, O Elohim, in Sion, and unto thee shall the vow be performed. O thou that hearest prayer, unto thee shall all flesh come. Iniquities prevail against me, as for our transgressions, thou shalt purge them away. Blessed is the man whom thou choosest, and causest to approach unto thee, that he may dwell in thy courts. We shall be satisfied with the goodness of thy house, even of thy holy temple. By terrible things in righteousness wilt thou answer us. O Elohim of our salvation, who art the confidence of all the ends of the earth, and of them that are far off upon the sea, by which by his strength setteth fast the mountains, being girded with power, which stilleth the noise of the seas, the noise of their waves, and the tumult of the people. They also that dwell in the uttermost parts are afraid at thy tokens. Thou makest the outgoings of the morning and evening to rejoice. Thou visitest the earth and waterest it. Thou greatly enrichest it with the river of Elohim, which is full of water. Thou preparest them corn when thou hast so provided for it. Thou waterest the ridges thereof abundantly. Thou settlest the furrows thereof. Thou makest it soft with showers. Thou blessest the springing thereof. Thou crownest the year with thy goodness, and thy paths drop fatness. They drop upon the pastures of the wilderness, and the little hills rejoice on every side. The pastures are clothed with flocks, the valleys are also covered over with corn. They shout for joy, they also sing. Man, this this chapter really gave me an image of like nature and also the fact that God, our our Elohim, God, He is everywhere and in everything, and especially when you're out in nature, out out outside even you know even if you're not in nature even if you're in a city but you can really feel God's presence and um, you know the amazing work that he did when you're out in nature just amazing everything how beautiful nature is amen to that Psalm 66 to the chief musician a song or psalm Make a joyful noise unto Elohim, all ye lands. Sing forth the honor of his name. Make his praise glorious. Say unto Elohim, How terrible art thou in thy works. Through the greatness of thy power shall thine enemies submit themselves unto thee. All the earth shall worship thee, and shall sing unto thee, and shall sing to thy name. Selah. Come and see the works of Elohim. He is terrible in his doing toward the children of men. He turned the sea into dry land. They went through the flood on foot. There did we rejoice in him. He ruleth by his power forever. His eyes behold the nations. Let not the rebellious exalt themselves. Selah. O bless our Elohim, ye people, and make the voice of his praise to be heard, which holdeth our soul in life, and suffereth not our feet to be moved. For thou, O Elohim, hast proved us. Thou hast tried us, as silver is tried. Thou broughtest us into the net. Thou laidest affliction upon our loins. Thou hast caused men to ride over our heads. We went through fire and through water. But thou broughtest us out into a wealthy place. I will go into thy house with burnt offerings. I will pay thee my vows, which my lips have uttered and my mouth hath spoken when I was in trouble. I will offer unto thee burnt sacrifices of fatlings with the incense of rams. I will offer bullocks with goats. Selah. Come in here, all ye that fear Elohim, and I will declare what he hath done for my soul. I cried unto him with my mouth, and he was extolled with my tongue. If I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. But verily Elohim hath heard me, he hath attended to the voice of my prayer. Blessed be God, which hath not turned away my prayer, nor his mercy from me. Amen to that as well. Psalm 67 To the chief musician on Nignoth, a psalm or song. 
Elohim be merciful unto us and bless us and cause his face to shine upon us, Selah, that thy way may be known upon the earth thy saving health among all nations. Let the people praise thee, O Elohim. Let all the people praise thee. O let the nations be glad and sing for joy, for thou shalt judge the people righteously and govern the nations upon the earth. Let the people praise thee, O Elohim. Let all the people praise thee. Then shall the earth yield her increase, and Elohim, even our own Elohim, shall bless us. Elohim shall bless us, and all the ends of the earth shall fear him. Psalm 68, to the chief musician, a psalm or song of David. Let Elohim arise, let his enemies be scattered, let them also that hate him flee before him. As smoke is driven away, so drive them away. As wax melteth before the fire, so let the wicked perish at the presence of Elohim. But let the righteous be glad, let them rejoice before Elohim. Yea, let them exceedingly rejoice. Sing unto Elohim, sing praises to his name. Extol him that writeth upon the heavens by his name, Yah, Yahweh. And rejoice before him, a father of the fatherless and a judge of the widows. Is Elohim in his holy habitation? Elohim setteth the solitary in families. He bringeth out those which are bound with chains, but the rebellious dwell in a dry land. O Elohim, when thou wentest forth before thy people, when thou didst march through the wilderness, Selah, the earth shook, the heavens also dropped at the presence of Elohim. Even Sinai itself was removed at the presence of Elohim, the Elohim of Israel. Thou, O Elohim, didst send a plentiful rain, whereby thou didst confirm thine inheritance when it was weary. Thy congregation hath dwelt therein. Thou, O Elohim, hast prepared of thy goodness for the poor. The Lord gave the word. Great was the company of those that published it. Kings of armies did flee apace, and she that tarried at home divided the spoil. Though ye have lien among the pots, yet shall ye be as the wings of a dove covered with silver, and her feathers with yellow gold. Then, when the Almighty scattered kings in it, it was white as snow, in, as snow in Salmon. The hill of Elohim is as the hill of Bashan, at high hill as the hill of Bashan. Why leap ye, ye high hills? This is the hill which Elohim desired to dwell in. Yea, Yahweh will dwell in it for ever. The chariots of Elohim are twenty thousand, even thousands of angels. The Lord is among them, as in Sinai, in the holy place. Thou hast ascended on high, thou hast led captivity captive. Thou hast received gifts for men, yea, for the rebellious also, that Yahweh, Elohim, might dwell among them. Blessed be the Lord, who daily loadeth, loadeth us with benefits, even the Elohim of our salvation. Selah. He that is our Elohim is the Elohim of salvation, and unto Elohim the Lord belong to the issues from death. But Elohim shall wound the head of his enemies, and the hairy scalp of such as one that as goeth on still in his trespasses. The Lord said, I will bring again from Bashan, I will bring my people again from the depths of the sea that thy foot may be dipped in the blood of thine enemies, and the tongue of thy dogs in the same. They have seen the goings, O Elohim, even the goings of my Elohim, my king in the sanctuary. The singers went before, the players on instruments followed after, among them were the damsels playing with timbrels. Bless ye, Elohim, and the congregations, even the Lord from the fountain of Israel. There is little Benjamin with their ruler, the princes of Judah, and their council, the princes of Zebulun, and the princes of Naphtali. Thy Elohim hath commanded thy strength, strengthen, O Elohim, that which thou hast wrought for us. Because of thy temple at Jerusalem shall kings bring presents unto thee. Rebuke the company of spearmen, the multitude of the bulls, the calves of the people, till every one submit himself with pieces of silver. Scatter thou the people that delight in war. Princes shall come out of Egypt, Ethiopia shall soon stretch out her hands unto Elohim. Sing unto Elohim, ye kingdoms of the earth, O sing praises unto the Lord, Selah. To him that rideth upon the heavens of heavens, which were of old, lo, he doth send out his voice, and that a mighty voice. Ascribe ye strength unto Elohim, his excellency is over Israel, and his strength is in the clouds. O Elohim, thou art terrible out of thy holy places. The Elohim of Israel is he that giveth strength and power unto his people. Blessed be Elohim. Psalm 69 To the chief musician upon Shoshanim, a psalm of David. Save me, O Elohim, for the waters are coming in unto my soul. I sink in deep mire, where there is no standing. I am come into the deep waters, where the floods overflow me. 
I am weary of my crying, my throat is dried, mine eyes fail while I wait for my Elohim. They that hate me without cause are more than the hairs of mine head. They that would destroy me, being mine enemies wrongfully, are mighty. Then I restored that which I took not away. O Elohim, thou knowest my foolishness, and my sins are not hid from thee. Let not them that wait on thee, O Lord, Elohim of hosts, be ashamed for my sake. Let not those that seek thee be confounded for my sake, O Elohim of Israel. Because for thy sake I have borne reproach, shame hath covered my face. I am become a stranger unto my brethren, and an alien unto my mother's children. For the zeal of thine house hath eaten me up, and the reproaches of them that reproached thee are fallen upon me. When I wept and chastened my soul with fasting that was to my reproach, I made sackcloth also my garment, and I became a proverb to them. That they sit in the gate speak against me, and I was in the song of the drunkards. But as for me, my prayer is unto thee, O Yahweh, in an acceptable time, O Elohim, in the multitude of thy mercy, hear me, in the truth of thy salvation. Deliver me out of the mire, and let them, me not sink. Let me be delivered from them that hate me, and out of the deep waters. Let not the water flood overflow me, neither let the deep swallow me up, and let not this pit shut her mouth upon me. Hear me, O Yahweh, for thy loving kindness is good. Turn unto me according to the multitude of thy tender mercies, and hide not thy face from thy servant, for I am in trouble. Hear me speedily. Draw an eye into my soul, and redeem it. Deliver me because of mine enemies. Thou hast known my reproach and my shame, and my dishonor. Mine adversaries are all before thee. Reproach hath broken my heart, and I am full of heaviness. And I looked for some to take pity, but there was none, and for some comforters, but I found none. They gave me also gall for my meat, and in my thirst they gave me vinegar to drink. Let their table become a snare before them, and that which should have been for their welfare, let it become a trap. Let their eyes be darkened, that they see not to make their loins continually to shake. Pour out thine inundation upon them, and let thy wrathful anger take hold of them. Let their habitation be desolate, and let none dwell in their tents. For they persecute him whom thou hast smitten, and they talk to the grief of those whom thou hast wounded. Add iniquity unto their iniquity, and let them not come into thy righteousness. Let them be blotted out of the book of the living, and, let, and not be written with the righteous. But I am poor and sorrowful. Let thy salvation, O Elohim, set me up on high. I will praise the name of Elohim with a song, and will magnify him with thanksgiving. This also shall please Yahweh better than an ox or bullock that hath horns and hoofs. The humble shall see this and be glad, and your heart shall live that seek Elohim. For Yahweh heareth the poor and despiseth not his prisoners. Let the heaven and earth praise him, the seas and everything that moveth therein. For Elohim will save Zion and will build the cities of Judah, that they may dwell there and have it in possession. The seed also of his servant shall inherit it, and they that love his name shall dwell therein. Psalm 70 The Chief Musician, a Psalm of David, to bring to remembrance. Make haste, O Elohim, to deliver me. Make haste to help me, O Yahweh. Let them be ashamed and confounded that seek after my soul. Let them be turned backward and put to confusion that desire my hurt. Let them be turned back for a reward of their shame that say, Aha, aha. Let those that seek thee rejoice and be glad in thee. And let such as love thy salvation say continually, Let Elohim be magnified. But I am poor and needy. Make haste unto me, O Elohim. Thou art my help and my deliverer. O Yahweh, make no tarrying. Amen and amen. So, that's going to be it for today, guys. There's so many good verses, so many good chapters. Psalm 60, what was it, 62? Yeah, Psalm 62, pretty much any verse in Psalm 62. Uh, definitely going to be, some of these are going to be my verse of the day. So thanks for watching. Thanks for joining me. I hope you have a great evening, morning, noon, wherever you're at. And as always, TTFN, ta-ta for now. Take care. God bless. Remember to put God first in everything you do. Have faith in him. Have trust in him and wait upon him. And I'll never be sorry. We'll see you tomorrow, God willingly, with some more Psalms. Thanks again. See you later.